Good morning, everybody. It's currently 529. We got to be at the gym by six today. So we got everything ready. I'm just about to make my pre-workout and my creatine and then get ready and head out to the gym. Uh, we're going to get ready and I'll pick up the camera before we leave. So we just got to the gym. Uh, today's plan is it's some um, quads. So the first movement, first exercise we're planning on doing is going to be this hack squat. Uh, before we do that, we got to get warmed up. So I've been doing some some good warm-ups recently, especially on my quad days, because I've recently developed a patellar tendinopathy, according to some of the physical therapists that I work with, which is just kind of like, they categorize that around like jumpers knees, just like overuse. So before we get started, we're just going to kind of get some warm-ups in. That's yeah, so what I've been doing recently for my patellar tendinopathy is warming up with these Spanish squats. So we just kind of put the band around our knees, kind of walk back and imagine just doing a wall sit, soft bend, side bend, and just kind of holding this for about 30 to 45 seconds. I just do about three reps and then I get started on my other warm up. The next kind of warm up slash mobility thing that I like to do are these um, banded mobilizations for the ankle joint. Because I've been, I've always had pretty bad ankle joint throughout my entire life, especially since I played basketball in high school. And I have chronic ankle sprains on both sides. So this kind of just helps out. a little bit more range of motion. Put it on the ankle, kind of put it right before the ankle, and kind of press on that heel bone. Kind of push it back and you can just, you just kind of drive that knee forward. I don't have a lot of range of motion, but it's been getting better. I can do 10 on each side, and then after this, I kind of move up to the hips, get my hips nice and warm, and then we should be good enough to go. This first hit on a warm up exercise like you is called a hip airplane. Kind of kick that leg back, open up as far as you can, come back, reset. So that's one. I like to do about 10 of these, really good for that hip joint. And the adductors right here on the inside, kind of help them get warm and also stretch. The next warm up I like to do are these clamshells. Kind of work on abductor or the outside muscle groups, kind of get them warm as well. Kind of just help with some knee support. So she sends them suffering with that patellar tendinopathy. But yeah, we we'll just do 10 on each side and we should be good to go. All right, now that we're warm, we put on these things. Finally, I got me a pair of these Ramaleos from Nike. They've been really, really good, especially with that elevated heel. Kind of helps me get a little bit lower since I have that bad ankle mobility. All right, I'll get this on and then we can get started. So the first warm set, we're just gonna be sticking at one plate on each side. Looking for about 10 reps here. Just kind of get the blood flowing, get everything, especially the joints, kind of get the joints elevated. And then the music going. So we started with this fourth warm up set. Uh, Alright, let's move up to two plates here. Uh, yeah, so the second warm up set. Probably move this for about five to six reps. Uh, do one set of 315 and see how kind of that feels today. Or I might do two plates at 25 actually. One set that makes. Warm up set before we get into our three working sets. Two plates with the 25, just for one rep. Let's just kind of see how this moves. If this feels light, we may go a little heavier, but we'll just see today. Yeah. Yep. Nothing 315 would be a good way to stand today. Our first working set today. We're going for three plates, goal rep range, eight to 10. Hopefully I can get that 10th rep. I've been struggling with that recently, but we'll see how that goes today.
our second set. Since we didn't reach 10, I dropped the weight back down to 225. Hopefully we can get 10 here. Let's get started. Before we move on, I just want to give a little quick shout out to y'all. We hit a thousand one hundred followers on IG. Y'all can see that, appreciate it. All right, let's hit this last set. The day is going to be this leg press. We're going to be doing our first warm up set here. Probably just do one warm up set since our quad's pretty warm. And while they're hitting this uh, warm up set, I'll talk to you guys a little bit about why we're pairing both these exercises together. The reason why this leg press and the hack squat are really good exercises to pair together is because the hack squat trains the quad in the very end range. So a lot of knee flexion, a lot of stretch on the quad. This is a good mid range, so most of the tension is fired about here. Mid range to the quads. So you're training two different aspects of the quads together with two different exercises. So that's why we like to pair these together. First working set here. I need to be staying with three plates because I'm already pretty fatigued from the hack squat. But we're just doing another three sets of 10 to 12. For the second set, I uh, moved up the weight a little bit. I added a 25 because we had the end range of 10 to 12 rip and the RP was not very high. I would say it was probably like an 80. Last set, and then we move on to leg extensions for our final exercise. So I'll hit this real quick and then we move on.
Last exercise of the day is going to be this leg extension. This trains the quads in length positions. That means one to that is hardest when the quads are fully extended. Tried this for about 10 to 12, and then I'm going to superset this with some sissy squats, which I've learned. I think his name is Ryan on TikTok. I'll go ahead and double check that. Leg movement is going to be a sissy squat. So keep the hips extended. Keep the hips extended as you drive the knees down into a squat. Trains the rec fem in the lengthening position. Keep the weight where it's at. That's a good weight. of the sissy squats here. Make sure that after all the work that we did with the quad, especially the hip flexor, that we stretch it out. Because tight hip flexors typically lead to some low back pain. So if you feel like you have some low back discomfort, low back pain, maybe try to stretch out your quad, stretch out your hamstrings, stretch out your, even your lats could usually help. But I'd recommend just seeing a physical therapist. Yeah, I'm not certified, that's out of my scope of practice, really. But those are typically what the studies have shown to be one of the leading causes for low back pain. All right, so we just got done with that lift. I appreciate you guys for watching and all the support you guys have been giving me so far. Goal for this whole series is just trying to be consistent as possible about three times a week. So if you guys really enjoy this type of content and want to see more, make sure to leave a like, comment, even subscribe. And like I said in the last video, I also have an Instagram. If you want to go see that, I'll be posting gym content there at least once a day. We just reached 1,100 followers on Instagram. So I really appreciate you guys for that as well. That's been the kind of like a lifelong goal is to reach 1,000. So if you guys want to go ahead and smash that like button, like, send a comment, send it to a friend as well. I would really appreciate that. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great rest of your day.